Hi guys, welcome back. Today's video is all about removing dry Mod Podge from your paintbrushes. I tested six products and these are the results. So stick around if you wanna find out which ones work and which ones don't and how well they do or do not work. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Faith and you're watching Willoughby DIY. all probably let a paintbrush dry with Mod Podge on it at some point or glue or something else equally terrible for our paintbrushes. So I decided to do experiments. I tested six products. They're all items that you could find at pretty much any store, but I got them all at the Dollar Tree. I took to Google and searched around to see what people were recommending to use to remove dry Mod Podge. And I threw a couple extra in there myself. I, this is specifically to natural bristle paint brushes. Try it on your um, synthetic brushes at your own risk. And before I start rambling and talk all day to you, <laughs> here's the video. First thing I had to do was create six paint brushes that were completely gunked up and with dried Mod Podge. So I grabbed this six pack of natural bristle paint brushes from the Dollar Tree and I just coated them in some Mod Podge. I tried to do it in a way that seemed like it would naturally be that way once you use the paintbrush to apply the Mod Podge and maybe set it down. It probably wouldn't even have this much in there, but this is what I did. And I let it dry for a couple of days to ensure it was 100% solid. And then we're gonna start our experiments with the petroleum jelly. Now, I only seen one person recommend to use this and all they said was try Vaseline. So I was just kind of winging it here. I just globbed some petroleum jelly all over it completely coated it and now we're just gonna set it to the side and let it do its thing second thing I found was fabric softener uh, several people online actually recommended fabric softener and they say do one part fabric softener one part water so that's what I did I've got an eighth a cup of each and then I'm just gonna mix it together in my little bowls I've got these little bowls here that I got from the Dollar Tree and I labeled them with some masking tape <laughs> But I'm just going to stir that up and using more masking tape, I'm going to secure the paintbrush into the bowl so that it stays submerged because they recommend to do it overnight. So it's got to stay put. The next thing was vinegar and water. And you want to do two parts white vinegar with one part hot water. I've seen a several recommendations of the vinegar water. Um, I, I think someone even recommended just straight vinegar, but I don't know. It smells terrible. <laughs> so we're doing uh, a quarter cup of vinegar and an eighth of a cup of hot water. And I just microwaved my water for about four minutes in the microwave. And people recommended to let this one set until it cooled. And some people said overnight. So I'll be checking on that one here and there. The next three are 50% alcohol which is one of mine that I came up with, nail polish remover, non-acetone kind, and some Goo Gone, another one of my bright ideas. <laughs> and we're just gonna put the paintbrushes in the bowls and fill the liquid up until it covers the bristles, which is probably a colossal waste of Goo Gone, but hey, it's all in the name of science. And then we're gonna let these all set for 30 minutes before I check on them. Uh, the first one I checked on was the alcohol, and it had worked, it worked pretty well. I mean, it was probably 30 or 40% complete, you know. Um, there was still a solid mass in the middle of paintbrushes and Mod Podge. So I decided we're just going to let this one sit a little longer and see what happens in a couple of hours. The next one I checked was the nail polish remover. Once again, this is non-acetone nail polish remover. Um, a couple people recommended full acetone but I used non-acetone just in case and this one was pretty much done I mean there was a little bit of residue left and I was able to pull the bristles apart and just sort of fan them out swish it around in that nail polish a few times and it was good to go now you could let this set for another 10 or 15 minutes and you wouldn't have to do any work at all really except for to maybe clean it up <laughs> I just sprayed it down with some dish soap that and water that I had in a spray bottle cleaned off the residue that it had left on there and rinsed it, dried it off, and it was great. And then I let everything else set for another, for a total of two hours. 
and I went back and checked the Goo Gone. It had made some progress. Um, the first time I checked it, it hadn't done anything, but this time it was coming apart. Unfortunately, once it starts to dry, it gets hardened again and it was pulling out bristles. So I was like, let's just shove it back in there and wait a little longer. Maybe it'll break down that residue on its own. Then I checked the alcohol one and it was, it was good to go. I mean, there was a little bit of residue left. I just spritzed it with some soapy water and rinsed it off and it was done. Now, if you had used like 70 or 90% alcohol, this probably would have been done before now, maybe even in like 45 minutes to an hour. It's pretty great. The vinegar water had made some good progress. Um, you could see all the Mod Podge residue had softened quite a bit. And I started pulling some of that out, but honestly, at this point, it's just way too tedious. Even though the vinegar and water had cooled off, I let it sit until it cooled, it was still, I don't know, it was still a little hard to pull it out and I didn't want to pull out any bristles. So I let all the rest of that stuff sit for a total of eight hours. And when I went back, the fabric softener, it had worked a little too well. Um, it worked so well that it had broken down the adhesive that holds the bristles to the paintbrush handle. So that was a bit problematic. Um, I was not tugging on this any more than I were, was with any of the other paintbrushes and they were just popping out left and right. I mean, chunks of bristles. So this one I decided was a failure. <laughs> And I checked the Vaseline one and it had made a teensy teensy bit of progress. It was slightly softened at the base, but I figured it needed to sit longer. The Goo Gone, a little bit more progress, but still every time you pull it out of the liquid and start, you know, messing with it, it starts to reharden and it was starting to pull out more bristles. And at this point I was just like, you know, this is too expensive really because it's the smallest amount of liquid for a dollar that you get and so I decided that this one was a failure. So I let that uh, petroleum jelly and the vinegar water sit for a total of 24 hours almost. The petroleum jelly was just, it was not doing anything really. <laughs> it's kind of sad actually. <laughs> but I didn't hold much hope since the person just said try Vaseline. <laughs> Now, the vinegar and water was looking really good. I had pulled some of that residue out before, you see me pulling it out, but some of it had loosened up on its own and fallen off on its own, and what was left was super soft, and I could just pull it right out without damaging the brush at all. So I just pulled all of that residue out, washed it with some soapy water, and it was good to go. And the results are in for my crazy, crazy Mod Podge experiment. Um, obviously the worst thing is the petroleum jelly. I mean, after setting for nearly 24 hours, it did really didn't do anything. I'm gonna say the fabric softener is probably the next worst, only because it did work, but it pulled out so many bristles. I mean, heavy bristle loss, and it had to soak for eight hours. Same with the Goo Gone. And it was also most likely the most expensive, so those three definitely failed and I do not recommend. Now the vinegar and water, even though I had to soak for 24 total hours and you had to pull all those the residue out, it still works and it's very inexpensive. The alcohol, same thing, except for barely any work whatsoever. And if you use a higher alcohol percentage, it's probably even faster than two hours. So these are confirmed and recommended. But the winner is definitely, definitely our nail polish remover. I mean, 30 minutes and 45 minutes if you don't even wanna to have to swish it around, that's awesome. So I highly recommend the nail polish remover. I think this was just, this was so much fun doing like a little experiment to find out the quickest, easiest, cheapest way to remove dry Mod Podge from my paintbrush. Nail polish remover? What? I think you can get it for less than a dollar at Walmart. I was really thinking that that fabric softener one would work and I guess it did just too, too well. <laughs> but thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, you guys are the absolute best for staying all the way to the end. If you're new here, please, please, please subscribe if you like my video and you want to see more content from me. I upload every Monday. And if you enjoyed this video, 
or found value in the content of it, please hit that like button. It helps my channel out so very much. And as always, guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you all next time.